One is inclined to wonder why the protest movements that have been sweeping Latin America in the last year haven't had parallel protest movements throughout the United States. Why has the United States not experienced the kind of unrest that, uh, that, that countries like Chile, Haiti, Ecuador have, have experienced? Well, I'm a Marxist-Leninist, and that means that I assess the material conditions of my surroundings with the, in an objective way with the goal of furthering my knowledge for, uh, for advancing revolutionary socialism. And when I examine this question of why the United States hasn't exper experienced these kinds of protests, I look at the conditions of the proletariat in the first world as compared to the third world. And I see that uh, in countries like, uh, like Chile, the protesters are, in a lot of cases, making only cents a day, and they don't have sufficient access to food. And that's unfortunately true for a lot of Americans. Around one in eight Americans are food insecure, and a lot of Americans are desperately poor. And, of course, a lot of Americans are, are, uh, are falling into a less economically secure place. By mo the modern definition of poverty, around half of Americans are poor. But uh, as a Marxist-Leninist, I, I, I need to uh, acknowledge that uh, there's a, a, a difference uh, between the levels of poverty uh, within the United States compared to uh, the levels of poverty in countries like Chile. And uh, as socialists, in, in the United States, we need to acknowledge this uh, because that's how we uh, we can figure out how realistically we can expect our own revolution to play out. Right now, as uh, material conditions for the proletariat in the United States are deteriorating, uh, we're moving towards the uh, the kind of kind of stage that countries like Chile are in, where there's going to be this uh, massive movement towards uh, towards overthrowing the capitalist state, and this this kind of mass unrest. And the point where we're going to be able to t see that kind of uh, of upheaval within the United States is the point when. Uh, when the, this next recession hits, and this recession, it's going to be worse than the last. I, I can point to numerous uh, economic authorities that, uh, that, that expect this to be the case. And this next recession is going to destroy the millennial generation. It's going to uh, hurt the middle class like the, the, the American middle class like it hasn't been hurt throughout its lifetime. It's going to really make a, uh, make a lot of people less well off. And when this crash hits, it's no doubt going to provoke another version of Occupy Wall Street. It's going to provoke a lot of Americans to get out in the streets and, uh, and enact some kind of rebellion against their government. And, uh, and we need, as socialists, we need to channel this, uh, this coming explosion of unrest uh, towards revolution. We can't let th this, uh, this outbreak of anger be co-opted by the capitalist class. We need to, uh, we Marxist-Leninists need to uh, steer the narrative uh, towards, uh, towards making the American left uh, adopt genuine anti-imperialism to to uh, to make it unequivocally embrace anti-capitalism and to uh, uh, to, uh, to to really uh, get the uh, the American left educated and to get the proletariat educated and equipped with the uh, the tools that they need in order to overthrow the bourgeoisie and uh, and so. Uh, that, uh, that, that's really my, my point. We, as Americans, are in this situation where we're waiting for 
uh, this an outbreak of unrest to come, and we uh, and uh, and a lot of people are already enthusiastic about su uh, uh, such a movement, but a, a lot of people are are still not ready to join us, and when they are uh, do become ready to join us, we need to have the organizations in place. Uh, we'll need to have built the institutions to be able to steer this un outbreak of unrest uh, towards uh, 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 towards our own version of the Russian Revolution or the Chinese Revolution or the Korean Revolution, and uh, and ultimately uh, carry out a socialist revolution in the United States.